an idea for an electric jet. Musk said in 2008 that an electric jet becomes more feasible as batteries improve. As a result, in 2023, the billionaire entrepreneur will finally reveal a new supersonic jet product, or what we'll call a Tesla VTOL concept. Tesla VTOL concept, and we have to say, the design is quite out of this world. So why did Tesla develop the VTOL model, and when exactly will it be released? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. Elon Musk has not been shy in speculating about extending Tesla's business beyond electric cars, space exploration, hyperloop tunnels, brain implants, and trucks. A concept design for a Tesla Model V electric aircraft has caught the attention of Elon Musk. He said that electric planes will be one of Tesla's future products in 2023. He wants to construct an electric supersonic plane with a price of a hundred thousand US dollars. The planes Musk wants are not like conventional airplanes. They will soar to great heights using vertical takeoff and landing technology before utilizing battery power to reach speeds of over 768 miles per hour. As the CEO of two multi-billion dollar firms, Space SpaceX and Tesla, he is also the brains behind The Boring Company, Neuralink, and OpenAI. He could do so many things at once. But where did this Tesla VTOL 4.0 model originate from? The Model V is a VTOL electric concept designed to utilize the best electric car technology on an aerial platform. However, the idea was not of Tesla's design. In fact, it was designed by an industrial designer from the United Kingdom, Tom Tom Abbott Davies. Musk saw the design and commented on it on Twitter, saying it looks pretty cool, which is an understatement, of course. The design of the Model V isn't based on a flying saucer, it's based on the look of a manta ray, and it'd be able to carry more than one passenger. Abbott Davies started sketching the Tesla Model V by hand in 2014 while he was still attending Stowe School. During his undergraduate studies at Loughborough University, he used the 3D CAD program in the 2017 school year SOLIDWORKS to finalize the design. Let's go more in depth on the design of the plane. It has three ducted fans that can be used to fly vertically with titanium turbine blades with the rear fan on a gimbal to switch to forward flight. This is gyroscopically stabilized to provide a smoother flight. On the exterior, there's a retractable landing gear hidden away under a carbon fiber underbody. It has a magnesium fuselage, a titanium shell and a wide canopy that can be adapted to hold two people. Would Tesla's 4680 battery be compatible with this concept? The VTOL requirement makes the problem much harder than it would otherwise, because hovering flight demands so much power. The Tesla VTOL 4.0 model has three motors powered by lithium-ion batteries, a 1250 kilowatt rear motor paired with dual 650 kilowatt brushless motors geared with rotor blades. All this adds up to provide distributed electric propulsion, meaning if one part fails, the aircraft can still land safely. Today's state-of-the-art electric vehicle battery packs have specific energies of around 160 to 170 watt-hours per kilogram and make up around 25 to 30 percent of the weight of the vehicle. Elon Musk said batteries for the VTOL 4.0 model with a specific energy of 400 watt-hours per kilogram composing 70 percent of the aircraft's mass would make a compelling aircraft. But 500 watt hours per kilogram may be more ideal. An aircraft with the mass fraction of 400 watt hours per kilogram batteries at the pack level would be able to cruise for around 10 to 15 minutes at Mach 1.1 at an altitude of 40,000 feet, including a vertical takeoff and landing. But can Tesla afford this? Tesla purchased a battery firm, Maxwell Technologies, in February of 2019. During a presentation, Maxwell Technologies claimed it could offer batteries with 300 watt hours per kilogram 
telegram. It had also identified a path to 500 watt hours. However, Tesla has sold Maxwell Technologies to UCAP Power. Current generation lithium ion batteries are improving at a rate of three to 5% per year. Musk also pointed out that Tesla is using the dry cell technology developed by Maxwell. This technology is still gradually improving and is about to make great strides toward achieving high energy density. Tesla has already filed paperwork with the local county to construct a cathode facility in Giga, Texas. Clearly, the battery-related construction has been on the company's radar for a time, though it hasn't yet materialized. However, now it seems Tesla is ready to move forward. Moreover, next-generation lithium metal batteries promise higher specific energies at the cell level, he said. But it's still not clear how lithium metal batteries will be packaged, assuming it's similar to how lithium-ion batteries are packaged today that might get them to 350 watt hours per kilogram at the pack level. Maybe Musk will keep an eye on this new battery to complete the VTOL model project. When exactly will the VTOL model be released? When quizzed about the subject of the VTOL electric aircraft, he commented that there was already enough on his plate and Tesla's. Musk confessed that building a prototype for the VTOL electric aircraft would be very easy, but a volume production with high reliability and low cost plus passing all the regulations would be a hundred times harder. From his statements, Musk has really put a lot of thought into the project and is trying to work on making this product prototype by the end of 2023. Tesla has four new products coming soon and this doesn't include the Semi, Roadster, or Cybertruck. This is HVAC, portable solar trailer, EV van, Tesla bot, which is doubling their lineup. Elon Musk even said on one of the latest earnings calls that Tesla could not offer new vehicle models because its overall vehicle output would decrease. It takes time and effort to learn to build a new vehicle. It also takes up space, people, and materials, which would take away from other vehicles. We'd be very happy to see a battery electric aircraft from Tesla, as this is a segment that could also use a high profile project to jumpstart the industry. Maybe in the next few years, technology and the capacity for new endeavors will allow us to try to build a supersonic VTOL electric jet. So while it may seem logical to add aviation to Musk's space, road, and tunnel families, we won't be holding our breath anytime soon. Do you believe we could see Tesla batteries in EV tolls? Or could we see specialized Tesla built charging stations? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.